iPhone, baseband repair, Today, we were going to repair an iPhone 11 with no baseband. Help me, and together we can solve the problem. Let's start. Remember our first step. Always search for a clue. Let's dismantle this and find out. LCD is already replaced by other shop. And also this one is already repaired. Take out the board and check, and hope to find some clue. As you can see this one is already repaired. Capacitor is missing. They have separated this before. Look at the side. There's a lead. If we saw like this, we have no choice. We need to separate the board and check inside. We found clue. But we need to check first if that is related to our problem. Let's open our diagram. This is the capacitor missing. Let's zoom in. It says PP underscore GPU. That capacitor is not for baseband. But we need to replace that with same value later. Let's separate the board. The upper board looks great. No sign of corrosion. And all parts are there. And look we're lucky. Cause there's no signs of repair. The baseband is there and other parts. First thing is to check this board with eye socket. And check if will give us another clue. Amazing! The no SIM notification is now showing. In my experience it appears only when BB is good. Now baseband is present. We are now sure that the problem is the one that connects them together. So what we need to do is reball it again and put them together and check. Don't forget the capacitor. And of course, clean before reball.
Then put the new capacitor. I use 138 melting point. This melts fast than the other. And just need a low heat. It's safe to use. This is the value we need to replace. The baseband is now working. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel.